Hey, what's up, guys? Um, since nobody helped me figure out what the hell this thing is, I got asked, uh, I think 15 people, about this little terrestrial pattern thing that I tied this weekend. Anyways, super freaking easy thing. I'm sure somebody else already has it. I'm not claiming nothing. Here we go. This is, I'm tying this on a hopper hook, uh, number 12, Kamado hook. Uh, K2, what is it? K2312. Um, yeah, easy, easy breezy. So let's dive into this. Uh, brown thread, start a little over halfway. I am using a dark gray grizzly hackle for the tail Honestly, I wish I kind of, I wish I had red. I don't know. The colors are kind of going to be endless with this fella. Um, that doesn't need to look too incredibly pretty. Over the top, forgot to cut it. <clears throat> One millimeter tan foam we're going to put over the back. And strip. Tie that boy in. Boy, it was pretty great that we actually got some snow here. It's getting kind of scary there for a little bit. Not a ton, but enough. And I was freaking freezing ass outside. Okay. I had a hack already. Where did it go? Seriously? Okay. We'll just pluck another one. Uh, for the basically for the rib, I'm using a dark brown. Or not dark brown. It's kind of more of an orange grizz, grizzly hackle. It looks cool. I like it. I don't like normal colors. They bug me for some reason. Body. Hair's ice dub. Hairline. This stuff's dope really good easy to work with yeah it gives it a little more flash underneath I'm not so sure that this body really needs to even be tapered you do you depends on how picky you are I just want fish to eat it so we'll build that body up I'm gonna maintain the same width all the way across little more we'll pretty much tip, put the dubbing all the way about three quarters across the hook shank and a little more beef it up That's better. Foam over. I don't even use this thing. I think it works. I don't know about, I really, this Renzetti's dope and all, but I don't know. I have a peak vice. I had a Renzetti Traveler for 20 freaking years. And man, I got a peak vice. And I, I don't know. I absolutely love that thing. Don't get me wrong, this vice is freaking sweet too. So we'll wrap that hackle evenly spaced across. El Rappo. Clip. So I've been using a stuff from Montana Fly Company. I love this stuff. I've been using that for a bunch of my wings and it comes with a bunch of colors. So if you don't have this and you want to tie this crystal flash, I'm assuming it would work just fine. Whatever your flavor. Double it over, cinch it down. This is a good time to kind of build your head up. And now we are going to take, I already pre-cut it, foam, 
one millimeter. Rainy's, because Rainy's foams the shit. I think this is, I don't even know what this is. A beaver something, beaver cutter. <laughs> you decide. So we're gonna go right to where the wing of this would end and the body would start. That's where we're gonna tie this in at. It's gonna go a little over the body. A couple tight wraps. And now, if you like how your head looks, we're gonna fold this down right at the eye of the hook. Pinch that down and then just cinch that down. Tight wraps. All right, <clears throat> I'm using orange legs, sexy floss. Good way to do this and not go through a ton of this is cut one strand and divide it. And then that way you know you have the exact same length on either side when you put your legs on. Match the tips, tie them in. I'm tying these in first before the deer hair because otherwise it is a nightmare. I know some of you guys are really good with deer hair. Oh, but I suck with it. All right. I'm using yellow deer hair. Like I said, the colors are endless. I think using yellow, you don't need a hot spot on top to really pinpoint. Pluck out a bunch of that crap as you can at the under hair. And then we're just going to match to the end of our foam there because it's not going to land there anyways. But it's just a good destination. One loose wrap. Two, let it rain. Go through the fibers. And then we're going to go back underneath that head. Build up another little base in there. This will just sturdy that fly up. This is a really simple fly. Cut. We'll put your head back down and trim. I've seen guys that can do like a pre cut on their deer hair and then wrap them in. Every time I do that, it's just a nightmare. So I stick to what I know. But I'm gonna tie it. God, this fucking thing. I'm so used to my peak, I can just rotate whatever way I want to, whenever I want to. And that's it, guys. Easy breezy. Easy breezy. I cut the front legs just a little bit shorter than the back ones. No particular reason, just because. And that's it. Really easy. I've been putting Senyo, or not Senyo, uh, Solar is underneath right there, sparkles it up a little bit, extra strength. And that's it. Easy breezy. Oop. Growing deer hair. <laughs> Thanks for watching.